Hello, my dear friend. This is Phil again. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm actually bringing you、uh, bad news. Well, at least it's not a pleasant thing to share with you. As some of you worried, Bethesda nerfed the cremator on the PTS, which means in the next patch, which is about one half month later, when the next patch roll out to the live server, we're gonna see this weapon gun nerfed. So what I heard from the mining Discord, thanks for Mapex, Bethesda actually changed the explosive damage of this gun from a hundred percent of the overall damage per explosive to a flat twenty points of damage per explosive, which means even with the level five demolition expert perks on. The explosive damage will be around thirty, maybe. To actually find out how bad the nerf is, let me show you in this video. Unfortunately, Bethesda put in an old saved character for me on the PTS. So on the PTS right now, I do not have access to the multiple barrel mode and the napalm mode as well. So I will use black. No mode criminal in this video to compare the PDS and the live server. We will see the difference, even with one single barrel, because the explosive has been nerfed to the hell. So this is the blooded criminal I'm going to use in this video. Now I'm in live server. I'm using standard barrel, huge tank, and standard tank, which means no napalm tank for us to increase the damage. And the damage for direct hit is 210 fire damage, and then 500 fire damage per second, lasting six seconds. And if you compare that with the same gun in the PTS, you will see amazingly the base damage has been increased on this gun from 210 to 349, a significant increase. I have no clue why. Is it because there are some code changes, or is it because the test environment is different? I was trying to use exactly same character, same perk loadout, and same gun with the same modes, but this is what I found. And a significant increase of fire dot damage per second as well, from 600 to almost 10,000. Bear in mind, this is with the level five demolition expert perks on. And let's use the behemoth as our test subject in both scenario. Firstly, it's a live server. We see two numbers. One is one sixty six, and another number is hard to tell. Let's keep on trying because the distance is a bit far away, and they can't see nothing in vats. There it is. So one number is one sixty six, another one is about ninety something, around hundred. And it varies according to the shooting distance, and we use 180 fuel to take down the super mutant. As I understand, the 166, the bigger number, is actually the explosive damage because it's a 100% replication of the overall damage, and it's modified by another 60% because of the demolition expert. And the smaller number, the 90 something, is the direct hit damage. And now let's get back to the PTS. Same gun, same testing subject. There are again two numbers. The larger number is 117. It's actually behind the smaller number. The smaller number is 25. Now, as we saw, this gun have a higher base damage on the PTS. So the larger number in this scenario is actually the direct hit damage number, and the 25 is the explosive damage. As I mentioned, the explosive damage on the PTS is a 20 point damage flat, and then on top of that, your demolition expert is going to add 60 percent, which is why we see 25. As the explosive damage number and the direct hit is over 110, so the direct hit number is increased compared with the live server, 
but explosive damage has been nerfed to the hell. Don't forget, we have higher explosive damage than the direct hit on the live server, which is 166, which is higher than the direct hit damage on the PTS, which is about 133 when take one for the team legendary perk kicks in. I do realize now each hit only costs 10 fuel instead of 15. That's a good improvement of this gun because as I mentioned in my previous video, this gun chews through your ammo like no tomorrow. And to take down this behemoth, we shot him 13 times and on the live server, it's 12 shots. So even with the blank version without any modes, this gun is already getting weaker on the PTS. And think about the scenario, use multiple barrels. With four barrels, you actually have 400% damage of this gun on the live server. And on the PTS, you will only have 100% of the damage plus 80 explosive damage, which basically makes the multi-barrel useless in the coming patch. Well, there are some relatively better news about this gun. Bethesda actually increased the damage that the heavy barrel can bring into this gun from 60% to 100%, which means heavy barrel will boost your damage significantly in the coming patch. And the slow burner mode will give you additional 80 fair damage per second, which is again 60% stronger than the current live server with 100% longer duration. Given all this information, I would reckon the heavy barrel plus low burner, I would reckon the way to go with this gun will be the heavy barrel plus the slow burner instead of the currently multi-barrel mode. The thing is, I, I don't understand why did they actually nerf this gun? I mean, this gun is powerful, but not at that powerful. If they want to nerf, they should actually start with rifles. With real rifles, with fixers, with handmade, those guns actually kill bosses in no time. Why do they bother to nerf this gun? That is frustrating. So just enjoy this gun when you still can on the live server before the next patch coming in. I'll bring you more news about the current PTS. All right, that's everything for today. If you like the video, give a thumb up. I mean, the new itself is depressing, but I will really appreciate your support. You guys are the best. But until next time, Phil again, out.